when you begin to you turn now and recite the holy names of the saints or the Buddhas and all the mantras from the Buddhas, then please be vegan, please. Because if you are vegan, then you are more connected with life, not with death, not with killing. Killing karma is very, very heavy. And even if you recite sincerely, but you don't have enough time to build up this uh, uh, holy and uplifting energy, then it's very difficult to use meager energy to reach a high land, you know, higher rim of the Buddhas and saints. Thus you have to be vegan for yourself, not just because of compassion for the suffering of the animal people, but for yourself, so that you don't connect with this heavy, dragging, burdensome karma of killing, which will drown you, degrade you, and drag you down to a lower existence or hell. I hope it's logical enough for you. Because if you just cut some leaves from plants or trees to eat, then the leaves will grow again. And they have seeds, you know, and can grow again. Very simple, just put it in the ground and the vegetable will grow. See, it's life. It's a symbol of life. You put a seed and it grows. Even if you cut some of the branches of the vegetable, you can use that branch to grow. Most of them are like that. So it's life. It's not killing, not death. And you see, if you kill an animal person in front of you or make some people kill it for you, you know they're suffering, they scream, they kick, they don't want to be killed. They suffer, they cry. Animals feel pain. This is a scientific fact. And yet, in animal industries all over Australia, pieces of animals' bodies are cut off, sliced open, and burned away while they are fully conscious without pain relief. This is routine, and it's inflicted on millions of animals raised for food every year. Can you imagine dying just 42 days after being born? Your life cut short, just so an industry can make money. New evidence released by Animal Equality in Mexico shows the cruel reality for chickens on factory farms. A similar fate endured by nearly 8 billion chickens in the United States. These animals are forced to live in discomfort and suffering inside overcrowded and windowless sheds. Those who survive are sent to slaughter at only 42 days of age. They are not yet adults. These are the last moments of this pig's life. Workers at this Iowa pig farm tried repeatedly to yank her out of a crate. But she fought to stay alive. Eventually, they forced her out. Another pig tried to comfort her. Then, in front of the other pigs, they killed her. The next time you buy meat, think of her. But if you cut a plant, you know, a vegetable plant to eat, at least, at least, consciously, you don't hear them screaming. They might do it. They might feel pain, but less than the animal people physically. And at least you don't see them screaming or crying. So at least your mind is at peace. Your heart is at peace. You don't feel that guilt. Do you understand the logic now? Yes. At least you can have an excuse and say, I didn't see the vegetable suffer. I eat the no-suffering food, the vegan food, compared to the suffering, killing, and murdering of the animal people for you to eat. Now you see it very well in your mind. See, at least your heart doesn't feel guilty. Your mind feels at peace when you eat vegetables, because you don't see them screaming, running, or crying. At least that. 
at least you have that excuse in your mind and that peace in your heart, okay? But if you kill animal people or make them be killed for you, then you know for sure that animal people are suffering, screaming, and all their lives, they are cramped in little crates. They could not even turn around. You can't deny that. You can't deny the suffering, the pain, the animal people feel all their lives and at the time of their murder, okay? So, now you know. It's logical to you. I trust that you are intelligent and that you are smart enough to see the logic and why it is that veganism gives you no guilt instead of barbarism, like animal people, flesh eating, that will give you guilt because you know it. You see it. You see it. You know it. You know it on the screen at least. You know the films people make about it. The documentaries that show the suffering of the animal people, you know, you can't run away from that. You can't run away from the girl. You can't make any excuse for that. Because that conscious guilt of killing, massacring, murdering living beings will drag you to a lower existence and not to hell. Not that the devil can do anything to you because you're a child of God. Not that God wants to punish you. You yourself, your unconscious self, will punish yourself accordingly. So please stay away from this guilty feeling of killing animal people to eat. Because that will drag you lower and lower and to hell. Please. So be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Recite the holy sutras, the holy names of the saints, or a mantra of your choice. Save yourself. God bless. Be vegan. Have peace. Do good deeds. These three things are just in support of your goal of finding your own self with God. They are not the means for total liberation, no. But they sustain the world so that we don't have war, we don't have famine, and we don't have trouble, disaster, or even lose our planet home. Then we can have more peace, more time, more safety, more security to continue with our practice, whether reciting a mantra, reciting Amitabha Buddha's name, reciting a Christian saint's name, or reciting some favorite phrase in the Grand Sahib, or any other scriptures that you happen to know, or pray to God. Pray the prayer that I have taught you, the most powerful prayer. It has nothing to do with me. The prayers for you, between you and God, and all the saints, sages, masters, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas, you don't have to believe in me to recite that prayer every day. Please make it so that it sinks into your mind, your heart, your cells everywhere, so that when you die, I guarantee you will go to heaven. What level of heaven also depends on you and God's grace, but you will not go to hell, you will go to heaven. Please, if you have nothing else, you don't know anything else, just recite the prayer that I give to you by God's order. It's on Supreme Master television screen every day, often, because that's the most important thing for humans, for the believer and the atheist alike. You just recite it, and God will know that you really want to be free. Try it, and then the more you recite, the more you will believe, and the more you will feel God's love, God's blessing, and all the Master's support. Trust me, you don't have to believe in me. You don't have to follow me to do that. Just do it all by yourself, for yourself. You don't have to tell anybody even that you're doing that. Please do that. May God bless us all. May God have mercy on humanity and save this planet for all beings to continue and to love God, to praise God, to find God again. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, all the Masters, all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas. And thank also all the noble beings 
for doing God's will to help all beings to be uplifted spiritually and away from hell. Amen. We love you, God. We love you, all the masters, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas. We thank you all. Amen.